Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how video and in this video we're going to uh, create this texture. Uh, this is going to be something like the dry dirt, desert, sand, and uh, yeah that kind of texture. So, uh, and it's all going to be done in Eevee, so make sure you got Blender 2.8 and let's get started. <clears throat> okay, so go ahead and then open up a new file and let's get rid of this cube. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Hit X to delete, Shift A, add mesh, and a plane. And this is going to be procedural as well, so you can actually scale this uh, thing up in edit mode as big as you want, and or as healy as you want, and it will always look uh, the same. So that's really good. <clears throat> so let's go to the top view by hitting 7 on your numpad, and let's open up a new panel for our shader editor. So right here in the bottom right corner, just right above where there's nothing there, just click and drag and you'll see that you get a new panel. You can also hit the shading up here. I'm also using Blender 2.8 with the release candidate, so this should work with anything, uh, yeah, this should just work with any two, Blender 2.8 release. Um, make sure you're on Eevee and click rendered, because we're going to be using that in a second, just on this top one, and turn this in into uh, the shader editor. Click new and name it uh, something dirt, dried dirt, something like that. Cool. And I'm also going to make this kind of small, but big enough that I can see it. Uh, let's start doing this. So essentially, what we're going to start with is we're going to start with uh, a Voronoi texture. So Shift A, uh, search for V O R V O R O N O I texture. Enter. And let's just plug in the factor into the base color so you can see what it looks like. It looks kind of like cells, if you've seen like biology stuff. Um, however, we can change this. So right here, first off, let's change this to crackle. <clears throat> and we're already getting some results that we like. Um, so now let's just go ahead and uh, let's also change this. Uh, not change, but shift A, add a texture coordinate because we're going to want to change this from generated which is the default into object and this will take the object normals and put it on there so now whatever object you have it will just look it will look the same uh, but randomly generated onto it so uh, another thing we want to try to do is I'm going to decrease this by I guess it doesn't matter too much uh, yeah just leave that around the same Okay, so now let's add in uh, let's add in a noise texture. So if we add in a noise, uh, you can see what this looks like. If you do the color, it's colorful. If you do that, it looks like clouds. Now if we uh, crank this up, I'm looking at like 150 or so. It's just gonna look like your TV screen that like your old like what your grandparents probably saw on their uh, TV screen. Now essentially what we're going to do is we're going to mix these. So let's take the factor, I guess it's not yeah, let's take the factor and plug it into the base color. Then when we add shift A add search and then click on uh, mix RGB, it will plug it into the top node here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the factor here and plug it into the bottom one and change this from a mix into a multiply and you'll see what that does once I... oh there it is, this is the very top. So now we keep the same data as this and we just multiply it when we get the noise texture. So this will kind of give it, uh, as you zoom in here, uh, a little bit when you get close to this edge, when you get to the closest of these edges it will kind of make it dirt-like. Uh, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Okay, so now let's add, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, let's add Shift A and do a color ramp and throw it in right here. Now this one, we're just going to drag because drag to the drag the white over because we want to get rid of a lot of the noise that was in the middle of these, which is actually generally lighter, so uh, we can just blow those out. And we are starting to get more of that crackle, and if you want thicker black lines, uh, we can drag that up just a, a hair, but I, honestly you don't want much, so 
kind of play with those for a second. And we'll play with those a little bit later, but uh, get it kind of looking something like this. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add some color to this. Now you may think that we could add color to this color ramp, and we can. Uh, however, I think I want to, and I don't know if it actually matters a whole ton, but I want to keep the black and white for our norm, uh, for our uh, bump map later that we're going to use. So you probably could. However, let's just add in another color ramp here, and because uh, we're going to throw some stuff in between this as well. But now we're just going to throw in. Uh, this is going to be. Let's make it lighter, but then just turn it brown, and then go dark almost black. And then maybe keep this hue value. So I got 0 0.05 for my hue. And then go over here and type in 0 0.05 as my hue and crank up the saturation um, to something that looks like dirt. And you could do this vice versa. You could have done pick the hue here and actually I might because that does not look like a brown now that I look at it. Um, so let's let's see what happens if um, yeah. So I'm thinking a 0 .08. Uh, I'm just I just made that an easy number so that when I go into the other color, um, I can just change it and make that a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna change this to 0 .08. Then it's only transitioning the saturation value. So. Uh, yeah, let's work with that. You can change it whatever you'd like later. These things are all editable, so that's the power of procedural. Um, so yeah, we're looking good there. Now let's add, let's add a noise right after here. So we're gonna add a mix right here. Mix RGB. Throw it in there and add a noise. Uh, there we go. And throw in the factor into that. Okay, now this one, we can leave it close to five. Uh, five. And you can see what's happening right now already. We get this like, cloud effect over our stuff. Uh, we're going to change that. But crank up the detail. That is one thing that we're going to want, is some detail on these. Uh, also, that's probably another reason why we probably want detail on that as well. Okay, so now let's change this from a mix to an add because we don't want to take away from our data from before and we're looking good already. Okay, now let's add our... So we're looking better. Uh, you might think I'm bouncing around. I am a little bit. Uh, this is kind of the process that I would have gone through. That's kind of what I'm taking you through is I'm looking at the reference photo and then how I would like, okay, I need to add something. So now what I see is compared to our reference photo here. Now yeah, this isn't a reference. This is the one ICG created, but uh, this is the one we're trying to shoot for. We have like many Verona is going through each of these. So let's do uh, that. So let's take another Verona. You can duplicate that. And what we're going to do with it is we are going to add in another mix RGB. And we're going to throw the factor into the bottom one. And crank this factor up and you'll see that it doesn't do what we want at all and let's just change this to an overlay and it should look a little bit better. Overlay just takes this image and then it puts this in on top of it. So we're getting some better stuff and if we play with this white we can see how it affects that as well. Okay so now I think I'm gonna crank this up a little bit higher give it some more noise in there. Um, oh, also, we should have been doing this before, but create connect the objects into each of the vectors. Whoops. And things will look a little bit better as well. Okay, yeah, that looks a lot better already. Okay, so now going through here, what are we missing? We're missing some of the detailed rocks. Um, 
let's just duplicate this. So Shift D to duplicate that. Um, and let's add in, let's also Shift D duplicate this and add this in here. We're going to create a, a mix. This is actually going to be a mix. And it's going to be very low. So like a, uh, like 0.1, let's start with that. And now essentially what we're going to do is we're gonna take this factor and throw it in here. But this scale is going to be kind of high, like 500. Uh, wow, you don't see anything here. We don't see anything because, I uh, know why. Uh, because we actually don't have it connected to our normals. And this is mainly, we're affecting our normals here. So let's do that. Um, <clears throat> let's add a bump. So search for a bump. And <clears throat> let's connect this color to the height of the bump and plug the normal into the normal. Okay, and we, we, we're looking better. This, I know, beside what you may think, this is better because we have some texture, especially you can see this now. So if we affect this, we can get lighter stuff or more serious bumps. So this is gonna be our fine teeny rocks uh, in this, as you can see here. That's what it's affecting. Uh, however, this is affecting kind of our overall bumpiness of the texture. And it's way dark right now. So let's, uh, let's crank the distance down. Maybe like one or two, point one or point two. Uh, we're looking better. Uh, I'm also so I'm gonna play with this value. You can see if, if it was all the way up, we get like hills. However, if we turn this down, the tops of these become flatter and flatter, which becomes, it looks more like, uh, like the dried up dirt. So I'm going to now maybe even tweak it from here. So I'm gonna do like 0.0, .0 one five see what that looks like yeah so somewhere in there uh, you just want this to be a really small number and then this black you can adjust it uh, but don't adjust it much oh, and I just played with that so just be careful when you do that okay sweet so we're getting some good results here um, I might change f this a little bit maybe add some saturation maybe or desaturate it just find out what I like yeah I think I'm liking that okay now let's go through and go through some of these settings because there's a couple that we want to change first off our specular is going to be lower uh, higher means more gloss which we don't really have on dried dirt. So that's gonna be lower, but not quite zero, just a low number, because they're everything has like a, maybe a little bit of specular. Uh roughness, we're going to take this and it's rough. It, it's dried dirt, so increase that a little. And then that's pretty much it for those that I believe. Okay, so let's just go through what we've got here. So if you need to, you can um change things. Oh, this is what I were lacking. So we added in our Veronoi, the first one, but then we duplicated it. Uh, problem with it is, is we didn't actually change it, so we don't have any of our secondary uh, fractally looking things. So let's crank that up a little bit so that we get some of that. Okay, it's already looking better. We got some detail in there. Uh, we can play with that. So this slider right here is going to adjust how much of our secondary fractal things that we have, how much of it we can see. 100% is all of it, which isn't quite real. Uh, but maybe turn it down just a hair. Oh yeah. That looks like dirt. Pretty, I mean, uh, as simple as this is, that's gonna look like dirt. We could go a lot more complicated and you can add more noise, more, I mean, there's a whole bunch of other things that we can add. There's math nodes. However, this is probably pretty good for what we're gonna do. So let's go through and just recap on some of 
these. So first off, we have our texture coordinate. So I'm actually, I'm gonna make this big. So that you can just, if you want to, you can just copy this. So if something went wrong, this will work. So texture coordinate, you've got object going to your, to all of your textures. Um, all of your textures now. Um, so now we have a two Veronoise and a noise texture right here lined up and we have an overlay and a multiply with the Veroni textures going to the first overlay with a factor of 0.85 and then we have a multiply and a noise that are connected coming from the overlay there and then as we slide over we have the multiply continuing across we have the color ramp with the white and black very close together with an add with this noise texture so those are connected at 50 percent adding and then we have a noise going into this mix uh, like just like that with a point 0.1 and last of all we have this mix coming into our bump map into our normal and to our color ramp with these two colors going into our base color we have our specular set really low our roughness fairly high and that is our procedural texture today so thank you for watching uh, like subscribe do all that fun jazz if you feel and uh, We'll see you next time on Blender Know How.